Now I'm going to talk about how you can check the element quality. There are three ways to get to the element quality panel. First is to go to tools, then to click on check elements. The second one is to press F10, which is a shortcut. And the last one is to go to this toolbar and to select this check elements icon. To get this toolbar, you have to go to View, Toolbars, and then Checks. So, so View, Toolbars, Checks, the, the toolbar appears, and you have to click on these check elements and to open this panel. Since we have 3D elements, I will select 3D from, from, the, from this option. Then I'm going to make sure that all my values are what I want, so warp edge, aspect, skew, test collapse, cell squish, orthogonality, length, length maximum, Jacobian, uh, equal skew, wall skew, wall AR, minimum angle, maximum angle for tria faces, and minimum angle and maximum angle for the quad faces. So everything is as as I want. I change this length to 0.8. Uh, the length minimum to 0.8 and length maximum uh, to equal to 10. So now uh, the check uh, the check panel evaluates only one criteria per time and considers only elements being displayed and not all the elements. So for example, to to check the warpage, I have to click on warpage, and then at the lower left corner, I get a message saying that zero out of all the elements failed. If I click on aspect, I get that 102 element elements failed. If I click on skew, I get that 298 elements failed. Important thing is to have this option assigned uh, assign plot activated, because if it's standard, then when I click on test uh, test that collapse, I just get uh, the elements are which are which failed that they're in white. But if I click on this uh, assign plot. And I click on TED Collapse, the, the color of elements is changing. So I can see which elements are really bad and uh, how are the elements around. To save the elements which failed, I have to click on Save Failed. And in the lower left corner, I get a message the failed elements have been placed in the user mark. So now I have to go to, I have to click on Return. And a good thing to do is to hide all the elements and then to go to this find then to click on elements and to click on retrieve and click find this is going to display all the elements for each failed and now here you can you can look into more details the next step would be uh, to fix these elements and uh, to, to make sure they're, that they're of better quality.